Good evening, and welcome to Dan Bain's Sleepy Time Mumbles, a podcast you can miss. I'm Dan Bain, and every episode I I improvise a low-stakes podcast for you to fall asleep to. If you're just joining the show, let me say you've arrived in controversial times as we are currently running a survey to see if we should dare to reintroduce the opening chimes. These were a feature of the show for several years, but became controversial. My concern, of course, is that the squeaky wheel received the grease rather than the majority of listeners' interests. So... A survey is currently underway. You can vote either way by sending a text message to the show in the show link. Yes or no. But if you would like to really skew the results, you can get five votes whichever way you choose to go by leaving a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. That's right, that's leveraging, marketing something, some sort of technique that I'm, I'm doing a technique. Okay. So, do that. Right now. Current results are erring on the side of the chimes returning, but it's early days yet. Voting will close on Halloween, the end of October. So, if you care, make some time. In other news, friends, I am thrilled and delighted to announce that Sleepy Time Mumbles hit a landmark milestone of receiving 100,000 downloads. That's, that's an awful lot of downloads. And an awful lot of night's sleep. So, my thanks to all of you who have half listened to many, many episodes of this unusual experiment. Certainly it became, it was one when I began it. I'm not sure what I was trying to prove, but I guess I proved it. Anyway, thank you. Finally, in news... I was thrilled and horrified to receive a text message to the show, a link in bio, no, link in show notes, (laughs) get it right Daniel, (laughs) I was both thrilled and horrified to receive a text message, link in show notes, 
saying chat GPT recommended your podcast to me the artificial intelligence has become aware of me and were it truly an artificial intelligence and not simply a large language model perhaps I would be concerned as of now however I am merely amused I guess my only real question is what did you ask it for it to make that recommendation what curious sequence of prompts led to this a true query for the ages if you have received a message from a chat GPT model pertaining to the show feel free to let me know but not now make them wait for now put down your phone turn off your screens and close your eyes now it's time to be mumbled to sleep Season 5 Episode 10 Acting Intentions Ah, the techniques of acting How fascinating How important This evening we will be discussing the idea of intention. But first of all, what is acting? Of course, it comes from the verb to act, to take action. to think, not to speak, but to act, then therefore we must always assume that acting is an active process. What is drama? Drama is A changes B. Character A takes an action which changes character B. Without this transaction there is no drama only events if the job therefore of the actor is to change 
the other actor if A must change B? How can they do that? The obvious answer is to hope that the dramatist has included this in the script. If they have, the job of the actor is simply to say the line as truthfully as possible. But if they want to do it a little harder, or if the intent of the line is unclear in the text, then it is the job of the actor with the supervision of the director to establish and then play the subtext. In order to effectively play the subtext of a scene, the actor will give themselves an intention. And this is not about how they will act. Oh, I will say it sadly. Because I will say it sadly is a effects a but drama is a effects b therefore the actor's choice in subtext in their intent for the line Ideally, is a choice that affects the other character, character B. The best way to do this is with an active verb. What do you wish to do with the line? I want to X, where X is the emotion or feeling that you are attempting to engender in the other character. Let us see some examples. The text will be the following. As far as I can tell, these nuts do not have any extra added flavors, but I've been wrong in the past. That is the text. However, the text when said to another character, does nothing to affect them. It is purely neutral. Therefore, we will attempt to add a subtext by adding an active verb to the subtext 
uh, to the text rather. An active verb added to the text creates subtext or the impression of. Bear in mind the creation of a character is a purely artificial construct. There is no character, only lines of dialogue on the page. Your job is to say them truthfully. And often in this world, when people say one thing, they are meaning another thing. There is an intent underneath the line that they say that is attempting to do something other than the content of the line would imply. As far as I can tell, these nuts do not have any extra added flavours, but I have been wrong in the past. That is the line. Let us attempt to add some subtext with an active verb. To punish. As far as I can tell, these nuts do not have any extra added flavours. But I've been wrong in the past. To tempt. Well, as far as I can tell, well, these nuts don't have any extra added flavours. But I've been wrong in the past. To annoy. As far as I can tell, these nuts do not have any extra added flavours. But I've been wrong in the past. Too big. As, as far as I can tell, these, these nuts do not have any extra added flavours. But I've been wrong in the past. To inspire. As far as I can tell. These nuts do not have any extra added flavors. But I've been wrong in the past. To dazzle. As far as I can tell, these nuts don't have any extra added flavors. But I've been wrong in the past. To soften, to soft, soften, to soften, to soften, to soften. Like as far as I can tell, these nuts do not have any, any extra added flavors. I've been wrong in the past. To mollify. As far as I can tell, these, these nuts do not have any extra added flavours. But I, I've been wrong in the past. To 
to compel. As far as I can tell, these nuts do not have any extra added flavours. But I've been wrong in the past. To titillate. Well, as far as I can tell, uh, these nuts do not have any extra added flavours. But I've been wrong in the past. To mystify, as far as I can tell, these nuts do not have any, any extra added flavors. But I've been wrong in the past. to blame. Well, as far as I can tell, these nuts don't have any extra added flavours. But I've been wrong in the past. To teach. Now, as far as I can tell, these nuts don't have any extra added flavours. But I've been wrong in the past. To silence. Ah. As far as I can tell, these nuts do not have any extra added flavours. But I've been wrong in the past. To punish as far as I can tell these nuts do not have any extra added flavours but I've been wrong in the past to tempt well as far as I can tell, well, these nuts don't have any extra added flavors. But I've been wrong in the past. To annoy. As far as I can tell, these nuts do not have any extra added flavors. But I've been wrong in the past. Too big. As, as far as... As far as I can tell, these... These nuts do not have any extra added flavours. But I've been wrong in the past. To inspire. As far as I can tell. These nuts. Do not. Have any. Extra. Added. Flavors. But I've been wrong in the past. To dazzle. As far as I can tell, these nuts don't have any extra added flavors. I've been wrong in the past. To soften. To soft. Soften. To soften. 
to soften. To soften. Like as far as I can tell. Uh, these nuts do not have any, any extra added flavors. But I've been wrong in the past. To mollify. As far as I can tell, these, these nuts do not have any extra added flavors. But I, I've been wrong in the past. To compel. As far as I can tell. These nuts do not have any extra added flavors. But I've been wrong in the past. To titillate. Well, as far as I can tell, uh, these nuts do not have any extra added flavors. But I've been wrong in the past. To mystify, as far as I can tell, these nuts do not have any, any extra added flavors. But I've been wrong in the past. To blame. Well, as far as I can tell, these nuts do not have any extra added flavors. But I've been wrong in the past. To teach. Now, as far as I can tell, these nuts do not have any extra added flavors. But I've been wrong in the past. Gosh. What a powerful, powerful sequence of demonstration there. How incredible to see even just a small way that a line can be interpreted by an incredibly talented actor. Just phenomenal. And that's just with perhaps a dozen intentions added to the subtext. How will you know that you have chosen the correct one? Is there a correct one? Almost certainly. The rest of the scene will imply what should be going on. Your job is to unpack and understand that. Not just to pick random intentions and see if it's fun. The work is decoding a puzzle. Not just picking what you like. I hope that with these incredible top acting tips, you too 
will be able to improve the quality of your acting. Maybe 1000%. That was Season 5, Episode 10 of Sleepy Time Bumbles. Acting Intentions Sleepy Time Mumbles is a is a production of Noost Octopus Theatre etc. and is created and hosted by me Dan Bain You can follow the show subscribe or vote in the upcoming election from all the links in the show notes. Until next time, good night. Sleep tight.